Stress fractures of the metatarsal bones. Bone is a living tissue and it responds to stress by making new bone. When the bone fails to respond adequately to stress, a fatigue fracture may occur. The stress fracture occurs when the bone fails due to repetitive small stresses, microtrauma. The fracture can present itself early on as a minor injury with minor symptoms. If the fracture is not treated adequately, it can become very disabling. A high index of suspicion is necessary for the diagnosis of stress fractures of the metatarsal bones. In athletes, there may be localized pain that worsens with progressive activity such as increased training, increased running mileage, change in running surface, or changing shoes. Early on, x-rays may be negative in the majority of patients. Bone scan or MRI can be used to detect early activity in the bone. Usually the patient will have vague symptoms. The patient may see different doctors in order to obtain different opinions. A lot of tests may be done and a neuroma or metatarsalgia may be given as a diagnosis. Female athletes who have decreased bone density and possible eating disorders will have an increased incidence of stress fracture of the metatarsal bones. Female athletes with stress fractures should have a complete dietary and menstrual history. There is a correlation between eating disorders, amenorrhea, and osteoporosis in female athletes. This is the common area of stress fracture of metatarsal bones. In runners, the fracture usually occurs in the metatarsal neck. In dancers, the fracture occurs at the base of the second metatarsal. Fracture may result in delayed union. Restrict weight bearing for six weeks. Look for anatomic causes of fractures in the second and third metatarsal neck, such as heel cord tenderness, a short first metatarsal, or a long second metatarsal. Check for metabolic bone disease, osteoporosis, or osteomalacia. Examination, you will find tenderness, induration, and maybe a mass. You may find cavus, foot, MRI, and bone scan can be helpful. Metatarsal shaft stress fractures can occur due to stress of weight-bearing or prolonged walking. The fracture is sometimes called a marsh fracture that occurs in military recruits and in runners who increase activity levels. It usually occurs in the second metatarsal followed by the third metatarsal in frequency. The fracture is diaphyseal in location and there will be localized tenderness at the fracture site. The second metatarsal is the longest and the most rigid of the metatarsal bones, and it is usually exposed to greater repetitive stresses. X-rays are usually normal. A bone scan or MRI may be needed. Treatment, walking boot and reduce activity. Fracture of the proximal fifth metatarsal bone is another stress fracture that is very important. This fracture occurs in a watershed area of the blood supply that is susceptible to stress fracture nonunion. 
The blood supply in this area is tenuous. Healing is difficult with high incidence of delayed and non-union. A stress fracture occurs distal to 4-5 intermetatarsal joint. Here is the position of Jones fracture and here is the position of the stress fracture. The Jones fracture is an acute fracture and the stress fracture is a chronic condition that will require surgery. There are three types of fractures at the proximal fifth metatarsal. Zone 1 is tuberosity avulsion fracture. Zone 2 at 4-5 intermetatarsal joint, and that's called Jones fracture. Zone 3 is distal to the intermetatarsal joint, distal to Jones fracture, and that is the stress fracture in zone 3. As I stated before, the stress fracture occurs distal to the ligament that connects the fourth and the fifth metatarsals together. The stress fracture can occur in cavus foot due to increased ground reaction force over the fifth metatarsal. It will be overloaded on the lateral border of the foot. There will be dull pain activity related symptoms before the stress fracture shows up on x-rays. X-rays will show the fracture and its location as you can see here. The x-rays will show varying degrees of sclerosis and widening of the fracture line. Treatment, lag screw fixation with or without bone graft. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.